This is exactly what you're going to do to revise for GCSE Biology if you want to get that grade 9. The things that I did to jump three grades before my exams. So trust me, I know how hard revision for this subject can be. If you don't know me, my name's Tilly. I got eight nines and two eights at GCSE, and I want to give you my top study tips and tricks to help you get those grades as well. So be sure to follow me so you don't miss out. So something that I did for biology that I don't really see many people talk about is using flashcards, but for diagrams. So I would have like a diagram of a cell, for example, all labeled. And then on the other side, it'd be like label each area of the cell. Now that's good because I understood cells. I was very happy with it. But a variation of this could be you draw a part of the cell and your question could be, what is the missing part of this cell? with the answer on the other side. Where does it go? Et cetera, et cetera. I had one for various parts of the heart. That was something that I really struggled with at GCSE. But honestly, it's just through practicing again and again and again that you get these things into your memory. These diagrams, flashcards for definition and formulas. But notice how these things are about memorization, not necessarily understanding. I would recommend you try and understand everything because naturally that makes things way easier to remember. But at the end of the day, you can understand how photosynthesis works, but if you can't remember the formula, you're finished. Number two, exam practice. So if there's a particular topic that you're struggling with, go and do a question pack on it. You can find these online. A great website is Physics and Maths Tutor. Let's say you're really struggling with homeostasis or something, you can go and find practice questions on that. And there'll be a variety, it'll come up in a variety of different formats. So maybe a one marker, a two marker, or it could come up in a six marker. So the benefit of doing practice papers is not just learning how to do them under time conditions. It's when you mark them, you can see the same phrases come up again and again and again, particularly in biology. This really infuriated me for particular topics. So like, for example, the eye. I was really confident with the actual content, but getting the marks in the exam because I was not writing it in the terms that the examiner was looking for. I was not getting those marks. And it was only when I was doing a practice paper once every two or three days that I started getting the marks because I was giving the examiner what they wanted because I had essentially memorize the mark scheme. You start to understand you can't use the word curved, you have to say convex, concave, and it is drilled into your memory. And then finally, you need to understand how you get marks in the exam. You are so likely to waffle in a six marker if you don't know how you're getting the marks. How many AO1, how many AO2, how do you get the marks? For each command word, there will be a different way to answer that longer answer question. And I have got a video on this. So be sure to check my channel to figure out how you answer every single question in the biology paper. By the way, if you haven't saved this video yet, what are you doing? Comment which subject you want to see next and follow for more daily GCSE tips.